we are up and going. It is Thursday and today is soccer day, uh, which is something new for us. So we've kind of mixed up our schedule a little bit here for the spring. And so I'm just getting everything ready. We've already had breakfast. The kids are hanging out, uh, watching little Einsteins while I get the bags ready to go. And um, other than that, today we pretty much just plan on going to soccer. I've got to go run some errands, get some things, hopefully at another Target. Um, not the one I usually go to, but like one that's just down the road a little bit because the first one was out of some stuff. I need to work on Mother's Day gifts, which I'm not going to totally show just because some of the people that the gifts will be going to sometimes watch our channel. Um, but I'll show, I'll do a video on it like afterwards, like what we did maybe or something. I don't know. Anyhow, so we're going to be working on some preschool at home. This is dramatic dress up week, so it kind of just goes in with what we're just doing all the time right now anyways. Um, but we'll be doing probably some worksheets and stuff like that later today. So I'm going to get the soccer bag ready to go and we're going to head over to soccer. Alright, so quick mommy outfit of the day. I do the soccer class with them, but I'm wearing jeans today since we're going to go run errands afterwards. I mean, you know, you're running around after them, but it's not like I'm like actually like going to work out and, and, you know, in the sweat for like 60 minutes type of thing. So, you know, I'm, I'm running around and that sort of thing, but it's, I don't consider it like a workout for me. So, um... This is what I'm wearing. Wearing my jewelry, which I don't wear my jewelry to like swim class or anything, but I do wear it to like soccer and things like that, especially if we're gonna go run errands afterwards. I'm just wearing a Marona shirt from Target with a um, like long tank top underneath, so that way if I'm like, you know, running around or bending over or whatever, it kind of adds a little bit of extra length. And then dark jeans from The Gap, and my handy dandy tennis shoes are essential for wanting after kids. And then just easy jewelry, a Henry Bendel bangle and Tiffany Venetian bracelet, which I've been loving, my regular rings. And this necklace is by Chelsea Charles. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's just the one with the three little like sparkly crystal things on there. So this is what I'm gonna wear to soccer class and then we're gonna run errands afterwards. So I'm gonna load the car and we're we'll off. So we are here, I'm gonna get everyone unloaded and it's quite a bit chillier here than it has been the past few days. It's been like in the 80s here the past few days, but today it's only like the 60s. So I had to grab some little jackets and I especially like for like sports things that we do, like these little Gap jackets that I realized the biggest size that we have is a 2T, so I need to get to the Gap outlet maybe tomorrow and get Bella a bigger one. So I'm gonna unload everyone now. <laughs> Can you kick it towards me? Good kick. Here, kick that one towards me. Good. What are you doing over here? She found a little one that's her size and she's running with it. <laughs> You're supposed to kick it with your feet. <laughs> Go find a yellow spot. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> and then can we put our heads on it? Head on your ball. Can you put your head on the ball? Can you do it? Can you put your head on there? Yeah. I'm supposed to stick. It's just the, there's just like little plastic pieces in the grass. Three, two, one. Blast off. Woo. Oh, you're getting each, each level ready to go. Good job. <laughs> you stack it up? Good job. Now can you kick the ball into it? All right, so we had a fun soccer class today. Um, all the kids were just excited to be on the big field and be able to run around. We're going to run into Target right now and do a few errands and then we'll be back home for lunch. Woo, so errands took longer than expected, so we are getting in a little bit later than they usually do lunch. I'm going to start getting lunch ready, and then it'll be lunch, a little bit of playtime, and then nap time. And absolutely nothing glamorous for lunch today. Leftovers with veggie dip, and quesadillas, and crackers. <laughs> do you have fun at soccer? Yay. Did you have fun at soccer? Yeah. yeah. Hi. What are you doing, Sally? Mommy's got a huge mess to clean up behind you. So I've just got Bella set up here to work on some of our gifts that we're going to do. I'm going to do this one for Poppy. 
And you said you wanted to do what colors on poppies? Brown. Brown? Here, here's the color that you told me you wanted to start out with. I'm going to put blue. some blue on there for him, and we'll do red. Yes. And we're going to put Mickey ears on poppies because he likes Mickey Mouse, right? You put some blue on there. Here, we'll turn it over. And this one is a housewarming gift. This one actually is a Mother's Day gift because this is for a grandfather, but he's getting a new house and moving to a new house, so we are making one for him also because it's kind of like a house. Well, and his birthday was just in April, too, so this will be part of his birthday. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Yes, we're going to do Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. All right, let's put Mickey Mouse on this side, and then his will be done. Then we'll do Nana's. All right, so Bella's decided to put some yellow on this one. And I assisted her on this one just a little bit. We made a little Mickey Mouse face, and now that one's going to dry over here. All right, and she's doing this one in yellow and purple and pink. And I ran out of little, like, recyclable containers to put our brushes in, so I just used one of the bottoms. We painted a couple of the bottoms already, so I figured, eh, we'll just use it as, like, a paint pan, and then I'll just even it out a little bit. <laughs> That seems to be working so far. Let me see what you got so far. I like all this purple. You gonna put some more pink on there? So Natalie is already down for a nap and Isabella is here in the playroom playing. It's about her rest time too. So we are gonna do nap time and rest time here in a little bit and then I'm gonna take all of the gardening pots outside and I'm gonna spray them with like a clear lacquer to hold the paint so that way the people that get them want to put them outside. They'll be weatherproof. Boo! Boo! We need to wipe your mouth. You still have lunch in your mouth. Boo! Boo! <laughs> you lost. I lost Today is a special day for Luna. We have officially had her for 10 years now. I adopted her. She was a young adult cat. I mean, she was probably only a year or two old when I got her. But I adopted her from a humane study that was around like where I went to college at. And so I knew that the anniversary was coming up. It was the first week of May when I got her. Um, back then and so we have had her for 10 years so she's our favorite gray little cat huh yes your favorite gray little cat and this is what she does if she thinks that the kids are otherwise occupied and aren't going to notice her she comes and lays in the middle of the playroom <laughs> and then she'll like walk by and get pets from me oh she's adventurous to come in here with the kids awake our other cat we never see him during the day it's my husband's cat so he doesn't come out of his hiding spots until my husband gets home, but <laughs> Luna goes for it. She just gets in the middle of it with the kids, and then if they start to annoy her a lot, then she goes and runs and takes a nap. <laughs> gentle pets. Good girl. You give <laughs> Luna gentle pets. Oh, Good Luna kisses. <laughs> Luckily, Bella's gotten pretty good about giving gentle petting. Natalie, we're still working on. <laughs> With Bella. Luna's your buddy, isn't she? Is Luna! Luna. Yeah, is Luna your buddy? Gentle. My shape. Yeah, your shape. Are you showing her your mail that you have there? Tell her what's on your shape. A triangle. Is there a triangle on there? It's a triangle. <laughs> Luna! Yeah, the stamp on there is a triangle. She's going to go take a nap. Well, tell her what the numbers are underneath the triangle. No. No? I want to. Okay. All right, so both kids are down for a nap, so I'm going to try to get some things done around the house. And I don't think really know if I'm going to film a whole lot else for my other channel. I think I'm just going to wait until next week to film anything. It's got a couple of videos going on right now, so it should be okay. And then, of course, over here, I have all the usual, it seems like all the, like, haul stuff because I've been going shopping on the weekends. Obviously, it's falling on the weekends, so I usually have all those coming up on the weekend. And we'll also have preschool home coming up, so all those vlogs get uploaded over the weekend, I guess. So I'm going to go downstairs and start cleaning up things a little bit and get all the Target stuff sorted out from when we went to Target this morning. And also, I need to look and see, I'm going to start ordering Bella's birthday things. And her birthday's at the end of May. And so I think we're going to be doing a princess theme for her little family party that we're doing. So I'm going to be getting all those things pretty soon. And then I was thinking for over here, um, 
Well, I'll be moving like some of this stuff around. If you guys haven't noticed, I don't remember if I said this in a video, but we used to have a little weather panda right here, and he got torn down at a play date that we had. It's all right. Like my husband said, he's like, you shouldn't have had it so low, if you know, so other kids couldn't that weren't used to it could get to it. But I may get him a different one of those just to replace it, but I'll probably put it up higher. But anyways, um, back to birthday. Um, I'm thinking about moving these two car things to different areas of the room getting her an art easel so that way she can do art things over here and then the other thing that my husband and I had talked about getting her is one of those like um it's like a four-in-one tricycle it's like a tricycle that has a handle on the back and we thought it'd be good for walks because she could use it like as a tricycle also but then I think hopefully it feels like she's in control like if her were walking like we can be holding the handle and I can push Natalie in the stroller and it's kind of like a promotion for her because we usually go for walks once it's warmer outside we go for walks in our neighborhood in the evening um, so that would be like good for that. And then she's got kind of a little bit of a Build-A-Bear collection going. So I was thinking about getting her an American Girl doll to start that stuff. Not the actual American Girls, but the ones that are suitable for three-year-olds. Uh, the Biddy Twins, the ones that have the hair. But I think what I'm going to do is wait until Christmas to get the twins. And then that way it can be a gift for Natalie and Isabella. Because I can actually get a twin set that has one twin with dark hair and dark eyes and the other twin with blonde hair and blue eyes and it's perfect because then I can just get a twin set and one twin is for each girl. So that's what I'm thinking for Christmas already. <laughs> I'm already plotting for Christmas. This is my family's joke is because my birthday is in May also. My family's joke is like my birthday, you know, ends and I'm already plotting Christmas. I do that with my kids too. Um, so anyways, she's Bella has you know a pretty decent build a bear collection going they have this cute little thing it's called like a bear wardrobe so I was thinking about getting that so she could put all of her dresses and everything for her bears in there and she's also I've already purchased some additional dresses for her bears to dress them up like the princesses so I figured I could order that little armoire thing I think it's called a bear armoire or something like that. that's cute and then some dresses and trying to figure out what else to get her for a three-year-old probably some dolls and stuff like just from Target but I'm trying to think we were talking about getting like a really big play structure for the back yeah. I don't know if we're gonna get that yet just because the whole uncertainty with moving and it'd be a other large item you know just to have to move and all that so we'll see. So I'm going to go downstairs and look into the build aware stuff and start cleaning stuff up. And that's pretty much going to be the extent of nap time today, I think. Okay, so I got all of the pots glazed that are going to people as gifts. And those are sitting outside drying. And we already had a few that the girls made at a play date like a few weeks ago. So I went ahead and put some dirt in those and planted the seeds in those. And I'm trying to figure out where to put them outside on our back deck. I'm afraid that the girls will just be playing in them. And then the front, on the front porch, I'm afraid that I will forget to water them. <laughs> and there's like a, you know, overhang. So I'm trying to figure out where's the best place to to put those but for right now they're on the front porch until I can figure out a better spot if there is one so I'm taking um, the target things and I'm cutting the tags off of those to go upstairs but I want to show you the cute little pajamas I got for Natalie they're so cute they have this little whale on them on one side and there's like a little pants set and then on the other side it says I'm a big splash it's so cute and it's got the little whale um, Oh, I guess they're both pants. I thought one of them was shorts. Anyways, it's got two little pants. I thought that was so, so cute. And I actually found some shoes on Clarence for Bella. Here, I'll go grab them. I must have been very into, like, pink and navy today. They had these in the Clarence section, the only size they had in these. And this is the size that she's going into. It's still just a little bit big on her, but I'm thinking by the end of the summer, she'll definitely be in a nine. So these are really, really cute. And they were on Clarence for seven dollars I need to just find them like cute like plain sneakers that are like white or don't have any color on them just to go with like the Greek Isle outfits and stuff like that but these were really cute I couldn't pass those up those would be cute and she could even wear those in the fall if that's when she fits in them and I, got, I also found them this little um, seaplane thing and the like outdoor kids area for their water table I thought that that would be cute because Bella's very into airplanes it's even got a, like a little working propeller what else did I get today? Oh, I got her this. Um, this is going to be part of her birthday. She saw it on the rack and she was like, oh, Jake and Neverland players, please, please. So I, you know, kind of pushed past it and I went ahead and flipped open. And I, you know, I think that obviously she'll really like this. So I'm going to put that in her birthday items. I'm going to start getting those. 
um, start getting those put away. I got a purple shirt for me, a greenish tank top for me, and then I got them some stickers to just decorate different things like the Mother's Day cards and that sort of thing. I thought the, these were really cute and spring like with the butterflies and some cupcakes. I always keep these cupcake stickers on hand because this is what I decorate birthday cards with and some birds. So those would be good for all of the moms. And then I got this Sonia Kashuk lip gloss. It, I mean, it's not my favorite to be honest. I tried it and I really don't like it. And this is why I really just historically had stopped buying makeup anywhere but at Sephora because if you buy at Sephora and you don't like it then you can just take it back, you know, but, um, you know, I don't really like that. There's potting soil. Some of it flew all the way over here. And then the other thing is, um, I'm trying this all May mascara for the first time since my eyes have been really sensitive the past month. It just seems like they've been overly sensitive to eye makeup and things like that. I got this all May one coat triple effect mascara to try. And so, um, we'll see if it, is any gentler than regular mascara or what the deal is. I've tried this brand a long time in the past, but I just thought I'd try some things from it right now since I'm having some eye issues. And then this is a Target bag from yesterday that needs to get taken upstairs. So, or the day before. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut the tags off of this stuff and take all this upstairs. So I'm just finishing up replying to some things online and taking care of some computer stuff and the kids are taking a super long nap today which honestly would have been a great day to film but I you know didn't know that going into it. So I'm not sure if we're going to have a chance to go run out and do errands whenever they get up or not um, but then we'll do snack whenever they get up from nap. I'm probably going to have to go wake them up here in a minute. I guess they were both exhausted from soccer and then do snack and possibly try to do one errand. Hooray! Someone's finally up from nap. We're just doing a little bit of snack and then we'll play with some toys and then it's going to be dinner time because they slept so late that it's honestly going to be dinner time here pretty quickly. I have to go wake up Natalie so she wakes up. I think we wore them out at soccer today. Did you have fun at soccer today? Were you tired? You still look tired. I poked my head in to see if she was awake and I you know, kind of made her stir so I actually think technically woke Bella up too. Oh, power cat. You want your pirate hat? Can you say, can I have my pirate hat, please? Pirate hat. All right, let's go get it. So the kids are both awake from nap, and we just did a quick preschool at home craft. And now I'm going to start preheating the oven for dinner, actually. So the evening is flying by. Hey, guys. So we're going to call it a night for vlogging. I'm starting dinner and giving Natalie cuddles because she seems like she's having a I need cuddles evening. And we will see you guys in a future vlog. Thanks for watching, and have a great night.